Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. North Texas has just been unable to put together four quarters. You take little snippets out of each and every game during this losing streak, and it looks like a pretty good football team. But mistakes at crucial times have doomed them. Can they finally clean up their act and get this thing going in the right direction? We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Texas opened in 2011. It's part of the Mean Green Village. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. TCU is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Nicholson fields it at the one. And he's tackled at the 23. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. The final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. That'll be a loss of one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that. The defense just suffocated them there. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. After a decent run up the gut, Williams gets about four yards on the play. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Gates is back to receive. Gates takes it at the 45, gets to about the 44-yard line. Gates has got to forget about all the distractions, and that includes talking about winning awards. And in talking to him, he seems like a pretty focused, driven guy, and I think he's all about team. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 43. pressure he airs it out and he hauls it in at the end of that long ball and he converts the extra point let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update let's take a look at some action in the big 12 to the end. The Red Raiders get the W, 30 to 28. 
Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. McGee has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He just took a licking. They're right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at the 29-yard line. throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 37. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm. Vaughn awaits the snap. He's tackled at the 41. They punch it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Brought down at the 44. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. TCU is up a touchdown. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He's going to try and scramble. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 20. Decides to slide. What a run by the quarterback. Boy, this guy is dangerous. He can hurt you by running or throwing. There you can see how talented he is as a runner. The play breaks down. He didn't panic or get flustered. He just tucks it in and picks up a nice game. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Tackle made at the two. That brings up second and one. And the goal line defense digging in here. He's tackled at the two-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. They give to the tailback. He's taken down at the four-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That brings us third and three. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0, Horn Frog. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. TCU up seven points. It's up, and it's through the uprights. 
Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's take a look at some action from Waco. The Bears unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. The Bears lead 10-3. 10 nothing in this one. Nicholson Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. some time he keeps it and they make the stop at the 32 yard line he scrambles and picks up five and he's hit immediately zips it to the tight end that is just sound fundamental football right there making it look so easy Makes it to the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Black five, black five, three, nine. He scrambles. He's at midfield. And down he goes at the 49. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. him hard at the 49-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Makes the tackle at the 50-yard line. That makes it third and eleven. before it could go anywhere. That's a first down as they hooked up on the deep round. And the defender just got outrun and outplayed by the receiver. He wanted it more, and that allowed him to make a heck of a play. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's tackled right away. Throws falling back and finds his man. That'll make it second and seven. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets to about the 14-yard line. That's good for a game three yards. Third down. Quick throw. Tackle at the eight. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs him to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. This is the 12th play of this drive. Gets to about the eight-yard line. North Texas will have one timeout remaining. Second down and goal. Eight yards out. the middle. Touchdown, North Texas. 
well-designed play to get the hat back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. The draw within a field goal. He makes the PAT. So a 13-play, 73-yard drive, and the result, seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So the score now, 10-7. Anderson from the seven. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. TCU is up a field goal. He's tackled at about the 35. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's scrambling, and he tackles him hard at the 36. That makes it 37. Got it with room to run. That's a great tackle at the 48. Miller on the tackle at the 48 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 48 yard line, it's first down. Where the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. And he's immediately tackled. Jones on the tackle at the 38 yard line. First down. He's scrambling. Very good tackle in space. Richardson gets about four yards on the play. TCU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second and six. Ball on the 34-yard line. TCU is up by three. And he's level at the 40. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Going long. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. to that quickly. He dives and he'll be marked down. Touchdown. Well, this quarterback has great instincts, but he showed his smarts here as well. Seeing that there was room to run for the touchdown instead of trying to force the pass. And he tacks on the extra point. Horn Frosch had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He really got a hold of that kick. 
He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Horn Frogs with a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and Davis, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Gates builds it at the seven. He's taken down at the 29. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Here's a running play. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws it in a hurry, and he is drilled at midfield. Allen brings him down to the 50-yard line. First down. From the 50, first down. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Two tight, two tight. Four down, four down. A nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. From the 35 yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at the 29 yard line. Collins with the tackle at the 29 yard line. First down. After a decent pickup. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's on the run. Brought down at about the 19-yard line. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll make it third and one. 
This is the ninth play of this drive. Runs in and short of the line of scrimmage. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away. And it sails through the uprights. McGee looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. Brought down at the 22. TCU coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick throw. And he's tackled at the 24. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. four-yard line. It's third down. Slings it. He's knocked out of bounds around the 19-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Vaughn is the putter. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Five yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 45 yard line. He's got it out to his tight end. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. The Horned Frogs with a 13-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Bowen is waiting for the snap. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Quick pass. He goes out of bounds at the 23-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Bye. 
himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he's stopped before he even gets going. It's second and 12. Ball on the 45. Laid hand off, and he's not going to get back to the line. That is a loss of one yard on the way. That'll make it third and 13. Four down, four down. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. Yellow two. Yellow three. Yellow three. Yellow three. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And they got it. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Less than three minutes in the game. Green nine, green eight. Here they come. Got him. They tried to throw for it, but ended up getting sacked. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Runs right for a nice game. That's a game of six on the road. That brings him second and five. North Texas will take the first time out of the half. From the 35 yard line, it's down. At the 32, three-yard gain by the running back. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. He makes his way to about the 18. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From the 18-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. And that'll be his fifth sack of the season. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. A little over a minute in the game. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That's a game 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and goal. Second and 
It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's get you up to date on everything going on in the top 25. And for SMU, they can win their ninth game of the year today. SMU in front, 17-3. In other games, let's check in on the SEC where the passion always runs high. And for FSU, they continue their winning ways. The Seminoles prevail by seven. 27 to 7, our score. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28 yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. Under a minute left. Fires incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten to go. Ball on the 40. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to go for the home run. The defender had it and then dropped it. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized for defense for moving forward is always a plus. As a man, he'll lose big yards. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Yellow three. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat. He dropped it. That's a tough play. Whether you lose the ball it can mess with your head when that happens. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He'll go down to one knee. This one's in the books. The Horn Frogs get the win. 27-7. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. <laughs>